this wiring is a really helpful tool to have. Um, it takes a little bit of time to do the wiring, but whenever you're actually assembling your pieces, particularly flower crowns, corsages, um, little hair pins, it's so great because the necks of the flowers become flexible and you can arrange them and manipulate them in whichever way you need for those tiny little detailed pieces. Um, so what I have is some just really light gauge wire. This is a 26 gauge. And I have some Charming Babe Spray Roses. All the Charming, or all the Babe Spray Roses are really cute. I think I really like the yellow one as well. But I have this little hairpin. I'm putting it down in between the petals here in the center of the rose. And I'm just gonna push it through. And you'll see it comes out here on the other side. When I get down there towards the middle, I'm just gonna tug, tug, tug until I can't see it anymore and it's covered by the natural center of the rose there. Whenever you're wiring, um, I think it's really helpful to leave just a little bit of the stem here. And sometimes, just depending on what I'm doing with it, I might wrap a little bit around here at the base of the rose and then let the rest come down. Or sometimes you can just go straight through, but I'm going to show you the wrapping way. Then I have some green stem tape. This tape, if you haven't used it before, sticks to itself, so you want to stretch it real, real tight until it almost changes colors, and you'll know that you've got it at about the right spot. I think that little bit of wiring right up at the top of the rose stem is nice because it grabs onto the tape, so while it's not like an absolute necessity with your wiring, I think personally that's helpful. So it just grabs onto that, pull it real tight, spin it around, if you're doing something with more detailed work, you can clip the, clip the actual stem of the rose off pretty short. You could even go much shorter up here to the tip if you needed. And that'll give you less bulk whenever you're putting your pieces together. So there's one. Then perhaps you have a rose that's more closed that you can't get down into the center, or maybe you have a bud that you're working with like this. Well, instead of doing what we did, just did, you can run it through this part of the flower. Fold it down. Do that same little spin to catch the stem tape. Now this one I want to go a little bit higher with my tape to cover up that spot where I punctured through. So you can wire the whole way down. You can wire for a nice long stem if you'd like. Maybe you're doing a flower crown and the way that you're securing it is using some of this wrapped wire down here to, to spin around your frame or something like that. So you can also leave your wire tails longer. So that is wiring spray rows. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more like this, you can visit teamflower.org slash free.